Steve, my second question for you is, we all know that company culture is very important and you as being a champion of creating uh, groups or performance culture to perform results. What do you think about the idea that a lot of times recruiters say to candidates that you're great, but your company culture, you're not aligned with our company culture. Do you think that candidates should be 100% aligned with the company culture or they can be 80% aligned and they can bring themselves to the company and they can add value. What do you think about that? Um, uh, well, uh, I, I, I think that um, company culture is what, um, where did I, I read a quote once that said company culture is um, the most intolerable behavior that the CEO will accept or tolerate. Um, and I, I found that interesting um, and, and intriguing uh, because at the, at the time where I was working, I thought, boy, there's a lot of truth to that. You know, like um, I'm not necessarily pleased with these types of behaviors I'm seeing, um, but you know, I'm in a place where the CEO is well aware of these behaviors and seems to endorse it. And so by default, that then becomes the company's culture, right? Um, if, if dishonesty is tolerated, then part of our culture is dishonesty. Um, and, and, and that would be a very concerning situation. So, you know, I, I look at culture uh, this way. Um, they are sort of the, uh, the lines in the road. There's, the culture sort of, for me, sort of says, here's where we don't go but all the space in the middle is open, right? And so um, I don't necessarily look at recruitment and talent acquisition through a cultural lens of having people to comply or fit in. Mm -hmm. I say, you know, here's what we're about, here's what we do and here's what we don't do. And, um, and anything else you want to bring to the party is going to be welcome and, and will help to create the fabric that will become our culture. Our culture should be emblematic of everybody who works under our roof. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I, I, I look at um, embracing diversity um, in all of its different stripes and colors and, and coming into the organization and having that create a more um, vibrant culture yeah. than even the owners necessarily have envisioned. Yeah, I totally agree because it also, the company culture should also reflect the demographics or the, the communities that we are living, f living in and that should reflect in the company, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think, um, you know, somebody, somebody wiser than me once said to me, um, you know your company is diverse if you look around the office and they look like the same people that you see out on the street. Mm -hmm. um, and if they don't, then you probably have a problem. Yeah, that's a great, uh, that's a great call. Uh, again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of company culture, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for other questions.